proudly present you the first three-headed bass drum in the history of drum making. You heard right, three drum heads. And it has the same effect as you hit two keys on a piano or you hit three keys on a piano, which means chord power. The drum is designed especially for live and studio work. If you, if you work with two microphones, they got holes on the bottom to run out the cables and you can switch your drum sound from the desk from dry and punchy to boomy. Okay, you can set up this bass drum in, if you really stretch it out, in 28 different ways. Each of those bass drums, that's a 22 by 8 and that's a 22 by 14, they both have different bearing edges, a round side for a vintage sound and a sharp edged side for a more attacky and modern drum sound. And you can mix and match the drums together as you want. You can set them up as cocktail bass drums, as floor toms, as gong toms. You can even flip the drum around that you have uh, the shallow bass drum on front of it. It has two brackets up here where you can mount a rail mount to it or you can attach your cowbell to it or you can attach a cymbal arm. So this bass drum is so proven in the studio for a long time by me and it's really it's a rabbit hole if you start discovering all the sound that this bass drum has. It's the most fun kick drum you will ever play. bombshell kit comes with very special toms. The sizes are 12 by 8, 13 by 9, 14 by 14 and 16 by 14. The rack toms have a special 5 ply maple shell with beautiful re-rings and one side has a round bearing edge and sounds very warm and just like the drums from the 50s and 60s and the other side has a 45 degree bearing edge which gives you more attack and more overtones. So you can play those drums from both sides, you just have to turn them around. And the other cool thing is they have different hoops. I have a very light steel hoop, sounds like this. Just like the drums from the 50s. And the other side features a thick steel hoop, sounds like this. So basically you can swap the hoops around or the sides around and you have three different choices for feel and sound of your toms. The floor toms have also a five ply shell but I want to, to go them as low as possible so I mix the shells. It's a three plies of mahogany and two plies of maple and they also have re-rings and the same um, different hoops and the different bearing edges. Sharp bearing edges, modern sides up, 22 by 8 inch gong tom. Here is the kit with the vintage sides up and a short 22 by 14 inch bass drum with the round edge as the better side. Here we have a lovely sounding bebop configuration with a 12 by 8 and a 14 by 14 and a 16 by 14 converted floor tom into a bass drum. Here I can use this kit as a die-hard stoner rock kit. I can play it with a three-headed bass drum or I used a cutout middle head and have a 22 by 22 inch bass drum. 14 inch rack tom, 16 inch floor. Tom. Sometimes we have very limited space in a club to set up our drums. How about a shallow 12 by 8 and you go with a 12 and a 14 saves you enough space. You can also mix and match the sound and playing it as a double bass drum kit with two different sounding bass drums a warm vintage right side and a punchy modern sounding left side. How about having three different bass drum sounds in one drum kit? A bebop sounding bass drum, a rock sounding bass drum and a dry 60s sounding bass drum in one kit and you still have 12, 13, 14 as the rack tone. This is what I call the velvet underground setup. You can play the bass drum when you set it up as a floor tom with a switched cam from upside down and you have also the gong tom, the 22 by 8 inch on three floor tom legs. So everything is facing now upwards towards the overheads and it gives you a totally new inspiring world of drums. This is what I call the orchestral caveman setup. I'm using the triple headed bass drum now as a cocktail bass drum. 
And again, I can play it with my foot. I can play it from the top. This kit is so cool, especially if you play it with mallets. And as you can see, the bombshell kit has two limits. First, your imagination, and second, there are only 25 kits worldwide.